Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Technical Coding, and today we are going to make a scratch game named Ping Pong. So let us first type. I think all of you know Ping Pong game. So first we will delete this cat in the delete icon, and as you can see in the right bottom, there is a sprite icon. See, this is a sprite icon. Just have to click on it. Then you will get multiple sprites as you want. In that, I want a ball. I think you can also see a ball. Oh, it also have multiple colors. So, we will go one more time to the sprite icon. And from there, as you can see, in the left, at the top, there is a search icon and you click on search icon and after that you have to type paddle see you can see a paddle then just click on it after that af after this sprite icon you can see a backdrop see it's a backdrop icon click on this and after that you can take any of this backdrop you want as far as I am taking this one see oh we forget about the line the game ender the sprite icon till the in the search icon and line can you see a line yes take this and now just give them a direction a position now it's okay right so let's start first with parallel we want an event starter which will get an event see here it is from the when flat click icon as you can see just click it and drag it towards this white area and leave it we want an command and control after the event. In there forever, the third icon. Click it and put it here. And after that, in motion, the first tray. We want to set X to see this one. X means horizontal. Lead us to horizontal and Y means vertical. Then in the same thing, after control, we want touching the want is mouse X see mouse X means mouse should go horizontal set X to see now see as my mouse is going horizontally the paddle is also moving towards horizontal see here yeah. so then we will go to ball we want an event starter as you know in the events first play and from there we want a motion the first tray point in direction this one just click on it we will get like this you can take any of the direction you want just like that I am taking 45 direction and I will attach this book now I want a command of forever and from motion the first control move 10 steps and also go on if on edge then it should bounce see here so what will happen if on edge bounce so it will bounce as it as it reaches the edge it will bounce see how it's bouncing right Okay, we want one more event starter. And from there, we want and control of two commands, forever and condition, if. And after that, we have to go to sensing, after control. Here you can see touching mouse pointer, see. After that, there is a down icon click on that 
and see you will get different types of option so all i have to do is just paddle and after that you have to do is go to motions turn 125 degrees and move 15 steps let me put here also same 15 steps now see what's happened yes can you see it's bouncing in the paddle it's bouncing okay now we want the score of course and score will be if the ball is touching the paddle then score should change by one so first we'll make a score right here enter it First, in the first one flat plate, we will attach set score to 0, 2. So, as our game starts, score will change to 0. Oh. And after that, in the same, change score by 1. And it will come in the second. If touching the panel, then it should change score by 1, of course. Wait. you know yeah changing score by one stop this first okay now we want here is in the line we have already completed. Now we want just to move. First, let us draw a backdrop of game over. I think. See here. I will just go to backdrop one plane, and I will just duplicate it and name it as game over. See as you can see. And first, let me hide these things. Yeah, now it's good. Now let us make a game over by selecting the rectangle and giving it as a black color. My one of the favorite colors. And as you can see, now all we have to type a text. Now we will go and select again and we will do as it is big and small we want or rotate also too. Now, as you can see, first in flat clip, we have to put in all that you should be so shown. Let's put that. Oh, if we do not make a command of liner, yeah. So let us make a code first. We will go in even starter in flat click. Then we want same forever and command if condition as we use in ball and now here we will do same touching but not parallel it will be ball that it should 
stop all. Now let us put show. Also switch back drop to nebula. This will put in ball. See, see now it's working properly. Oh, oh. See, it's just back drop to game over. Now all we have to give command is that. When backdrop switches to game mode, then it should hide, and we'll copy this to all of the sprites. See, see. I think now our game is completely ready so let us make it oh as you can see oh yeah it's working now very properly okay guys right so for today this much only let us meet another day with another video till that time stay safe stay home